Hey, what's up, Doc and fam? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be showcasing this man right here, Corroding Menace Super Baby 1. Now, guys, this is an exciting video, especially if you're free to play, because this is a free to play unit. Now, you actually get him from the event uh, Dragon Ball GT, the Baby Saga. And when you do that event, you actually get the drop card Unwavering Spirit Vegeta GT. Now obviously there's a process you have to go through in order to awaken him, awaken him to Corroding Men as Super Baby 1. So what you're going to have to do obviously is collect 14 of the Unwavering Spirit Vegeta GT cards. Then you're going to combine 10 of them to max out his super attack at 10. And then you're going to have to dock and awaken each one of those in order to open up all the hidden paths for this unit. Uh, when you dock and awaken those units, they turn into this guy right here, Dreadful Fusion Baby Vegeta. Uh, and then once you get that card to the UR level, you can open all four hidden paths. And then you can do the final awakening, which turns them into your boy, Corroding Menace Super Baby 1. So. Without any further ado, let's jump right into this showcase. Um, I'm going to do a nuke test first on Boss Rush. And then as soon as I finish the nuke test, we're going to go back into the game with my standard AGL team and see what kind of damage output he can do. So, let's get started. Oh, and one thing real quick, guys. So, I was having a really hard time getting one of my friends to show up with their... Uh, Golden Frieza. Thank you to my bro at the Prof Gaming for lending me his Frieza. So he had him at his at his lead as his leader, but it kept showing Super Saiyan 4 Goku, which was the unit he was using before he switched over. So I actually figured out a trick. If you have a friend who's trying to give you a leader card and it won't show up in your friends list, have them enter an event like Boss Rush because it's zero stamina, and then just abandon the quest. And it kind of like resets the game because once Joe did that, his Frieza popped up and now I could finally film this video. So let's get into it. And I'm a little worried because without my Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta lead, this team can get tanked uh, quite a bit, so <laughs> we'll see what happens. Hopefully we get uh, Super Baby Vegeta out in the first rotation. Dang, we didn't. Well, that's okay. Well, this actually worked out pretty good because we got Frieza blocking in the front, and then we got Frieza blocking on the end. So we're definitely not going to take so much damage where we die, which is always a good thing. Uh, ooh, I might get a super attack. No, not enough. Not enough for a super attack there. I want to get rid of these rainbows so that when I change all the orbs to AGL, I have as little rainbows as possible. So in case you guys don't know, um, Frieza's a tank. AGL Frieza. That's why he only took 4,000 damage from there. So if you need a tank unit and you have Frieza, get him T-Ward as fast as possible and take advantage of him being a tank blocker. Look at that. Only 3,000 damage there. Another 23 damage. Pretty good. There he is. There he is. All right, so we're gonna have to be smart about this. We're gonna have to use uh, Khalifa as the dodge. Okay, so Khalifa's gonna dodge. Nice, only one rainbow unit. We're gonna get the entire board. Here we go. So here we go. Change all red key spheres to orange. Change all orange key spheres to purple. Change all purple key spheres to green, and then last one, change all green key spheres to AGL. This is like, this is the perfect nuke test because we have the entire board. All right guys, let's see what uh, Super Baby Vegeta can do because I've never even tested this guy out before. And then, hey, why not? We'll let Pan shoot off a super attack too. <laughs> Thank you for the dodge. Thank you for the dodge. We're not gonna die here. All right, Vegeta, let's see. So this is no type advantage, this is AGL on AGL. Wow, AGL on AGL, and he's still almost hit for a million. Oh, now he's gonna block. Let's see what his blocking's like. Oh, well, we're dead. <laughs> his block was kind of trash, 
But AGL on AGL for a free to play unit to still do close to a million damage? That's pretty freaking good guys. So let's go back in here and now what we're gonna do is use my standard um, AGL team. Alright guys, so good news, I was actually able to find a Super 17 friend, actually one of my friends, Anthony, he hit me back on my text message, he's like, alright man, I got you, I'll put my Super 17 in there. So thank you very much, Anthony. If you take a look at his leader skill, guys, extreme AGL type key plus 3, and HP attack and defense plus 120%. So he's basically, he does the same thing that Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta does, but he does it for the extreme AGL team. So we're about to go for a ride, and yes, I apologize. I know my LR Vegeta is only at level 136, but I just recently awakened him and I'm kind of out of trading items, so. <laughs> it's gonna take a little while. Like, from level 130 to 150, it just takes so many trading items, it's ridiculous. But we're gonna have some fun, so let's jump right in here. We're gonna battle this uh, little Super Saiyan 3 Goku real quick. And we're gonna, tr we're gonna play this just like a regular, regular casual match. Oh wow, his Super 17's a little beefier than mine. So there's really no good linking going on right here, but that's okay. Well, if there's no linking, might as well try to get a super attack out of Majita first. Yeah! Then I'll put my buddy in here, and then, oh, I might get three super attacks off. Oh, only two, that's okay. This is actually my first time using Majita as well. Damn! <laughs> he kind of tore a new one! <laughs> that was awesome! Super 17 Death Ball! Nice! Wow, dude, LR, LR Majin Vegeta is pretty hardcore. I wasn't expecting him to, to do that much damage right out of the gate. I don't even think I have any orbs in him yet. Actually, no, I might have him at 55%. Uh, I take that back, sorry. All right, well, <laughs> we kind of need um, Vegeta to show up if we're gonna showcase him, so <laughs> let's save all those blue orbs over there just in case. It'd actually be nice if we got Vegeta to show up when we're fighting Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Nice. You know, that's so... My Angel Golden Frieza, actually he's not Angel, my Golden Frieza is actually Super Attack 10 with all four paths open. Um, I actually, I just don't really use an extreme AGL team, but now that I have Majita on here, granted he doesn't link too well, but my extreme team's looking pretty good. I might start awakening them soon. I just want to finish off Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Super Vegito on my Super AGL team before I start dumping orbs into these guys. Oh baby, there we go. Uh, well, I know, <laughs> I know if I launch a super attack with Vegeta, it's gonna completely wipe him out. So let's hope that Super Android 17 doesn't kill him. And so we got two more orbs here. And then Vegeta can go to town if there's anything left over of Giant Ape Goku after baby Vegeta takes him out. Don't kill him, don't kill him, don't kill him! Okay, good. All right, so, if this youth isn't terrible, he should be able to kill Golden Ape. Oh, not too bad. Um, on a type advantage, we got 475,000 critical. I like it when we see the critical hits because it kind of gives you a true value of how much damage they're going to do. So on an extreme AGL team, he's actually not doing that bad. All right, let's see if we can get another round in here. So let's uh, let's put Frieza first to do some heavy duty blocking. And then let's try to use as little orbs as possible. We'll save those greens so we can change them to AGL in case we get Vegeta back out here. And I, I hate to admit it, but baby Vegeta is one of my favorite forms of Vegeta. I just think he looks so cool with his tattoos and stuff on his face. This is like a moment, guys. This is my first time ever. I've been playing this game for like 300 days. My first time ever using an extreme AGL team. I might have to try doing the um, the the Super Battle Road with this team. I mean, I'll probably lose because it's not none of my guys are maxed out yet. But it would be fun to try. 
All right, so I don't want to put Vegeta there. I think taking three hits might be too many for him. Um, and I know I won't kill him on the second rotation, so we'll leave Super 17 there. He'll take um, the majority of the damage. And then what we can do is another attack with Baby Vegeta and see just how good he is at blocking as soon as he's done attacking. Oh, Super Android 17 blocks really well. I mean, granted, it's, you know, type advantage, but still, some good blocking. All right, let's see what you got. So we just hit for almost half a mil crit. Damn, another critical, 390. So almost 400,000 on Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Guys, that's not that bad. For a free-to-play unit, that is not that bad at all. All right, what do you say we wrap this up? We'll have some fun with, uh, with Majita. <laughs> Let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. Here we go. Yes, Ultra Super Attack. Not that these ones matter. My, I, I mean, I know what his Ultra Super Attack is. I haven't seen it yet from my Majita. So we're gonna witness that together. Here it comes. Getting ready for the World Tournament, man. Between Majita and Broly and Raditz, no one's gonna stand a chance when my team comes out. It's gonna be insane. You know what, I mean, that's, well, let's go. Let's see how far we can go. I just won't replenish my health at all. Might as well keep testing them out, right? Let's see if we can take them out in one shot. Well, actually, no, we'll use Rildo first. And then we'll go Baby Vegeta. Here we go. I honestly didn't think I would make it this far, but, you know, we're here. We might as well see how he does against other types. We already know he does really well against um, STR, obviously, get the type advantage. Whoa! Almost a mil crit that time! Damn! Like I said, I mean, it's, it's the first stage of a type advantage, but still, that was pretty intense. This is what we want to see. You know, I might... I might use, uh, well, I don't want to... Well, this will boost the attack. No, I want to keep it fresh. I should have put a Sensu Bean in instead of using these items. That's okay. So we'll do it this way, guys. He should block pretty well. Ooh, that wasn't a good block. Hopefully he doesn't super attack. Okay, good. I really wanna see how Vegeta does against uh, Tech, because that's the type disadvantage, obviously. All right, Vegeta, come on in. Don't kill him, just, just take him out. Here we go. Oh, of course. We might die here. You know what? I really want to see how much damage he does, so I'm gonna... Oh, you know what? No, I'll just use this, and I'll just do... I'll buff his defense, so that should be fine. I didn't want to buff his attack, and Bulma buffs his attack. All right, so just take some orbs in right here. Oh, he actually blocked pretty well there. Not too bad, 150,000 against Tech. That's not too bad at all, guys. Again, this is a free-to-play unit, so every single one of you watching this video is once his event comes back around, this is a unit that you can have on your team. Just takes a little bit of grind time. All right, and we're not gonna replenish our health anymore. We're gonna see how far we can go throughout this stage. Right. Oh, that was dumb. That doesn't matter. I just want to get to Vegeta. I'm not trying right now. Let's see how much. I bet I'll take like barely any damage here. Yeah, 19. See? 
Frieza's a tank, man. If you got AGL Frieza, get him TUR. He's a tank. Nice. You know, let's have some fun. We already know how well he does against STR, so let's go to the next stage with him. <laughs> we're gonna get a. We're gonna. Look, we're busting all kinds of cherries today. We got our first Majita uh, docking mode. <laughs> wow. Whoa, I can't, I can't edit that out. <laughs> I, I don't know what happened. I hit the button, man. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was terrible. Quick two mil, 2.5 mil. All right, we're gonna save those greens because we're gonna need them. Because we got no AGL orbs on the board. We're gonna have to turn them to AGL. We're actually like cruising through this boss rush without really having too much trouble. I mean, this isn't a bad team. This is actually a really strong extreme AGL team. Here we go. Alright, so let's put him in front and let's see how well he does. Alright, so he just needs one. And then we'll just get rid of these orange ones. Alright, let's see how you can block. Oh man! Could tank us in one hit! 130,000 damage. I mean, I guess I kind of expected that. We're still alive, though. We're still alive. And still 150... Oh, two attacks in a row. Sweet. Let's be a crit. Oh, so we're doing 150,000 damage to Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Look at that. We're going to like make it to the end by the skin of our teeth, man. If we take him out right here, that would just be hilarious. No, we're gonna die right now. See you later. I don't know, guys. I mean, <laughs> every all my docking, all my friends in my docking group were making fun of me because I wasted all my orbs on on uh, Super Baby Vegeta. But at the end of the day, guys. You know, if I'm going to make videos, I can't just make videos about all the best units in the game. We need to try out units so that all you free-to-play guys can see what they can do and then make a, a decision of whether or not you want to put orbs into those units. So, if anything, this video deserves a big thumbs up for showcasing a free-to-play unit and also putting all the orbs into them to get them at full rainbow. So, if you enjoyed the video, guys, show some love, smash that like and subscribe button, and then, yeah, let me know who you want to see showcase next. If you keep up with me, you know I get about 25 to 26 cards rainbowed. So, if you're not, if you're going to be around for the next live stream, you can join me. We can pick the next unit together that we're going to do in a showcase video. So, I'll see you guys next time.